Okay, so today we're going to be making chile poblano with crema con elote. And this is how it should look. If you like what you see, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share my videos. Thank you so much for watching Lina's Cooking Channel. For the chiles, you're going to need chiles poblano. It doesn't matter how many you want, maybe four or five, if you wanted to make it like something smaller. Crema mexicana, the table cream, half a cup of milk. It doesn't matter what percentage, milk, whole milk, anything. Corn, garlic salt, one tomato, and queso fresco. To wash your chiles poblanos. Once they're fully washed, you're gonna go ahead and heat up your stove, and you're gonna go ahead and put the chiles in there. Like that. Go ahead. Put them all in there and let them go ahead and burn from each side. It's gonna take a little while. Just go ahead and check on it every every two minutes or so. They're looking like this is where you could flip them. So just make sure they're looking like that and then you could flip them. Okay, while the chiles are toasting, I'm gonna go ahead and make some white rice. So that's boiling right now while the chiles are still cooking. Okay, now when the chiles are fully toasted, we're gonna go ahead and put them in a plastic bag like this. Just make sure all of them are fully toasted. If not, go ahead and leave them for a little longer. So as long as they look like this, you can go ahead and put them in the plastic bag. You're gonna put the plastic bag in the plastic bag for like about 15 minutes. So they could just steam up in there. So, perfect. And then just go ahead and close the bag and let them steam in there for about 15 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the bag after they've been sitting there for about 15 minutes. I put some gloves on because they do tend to be a little spicy. So when they're too spicy, uh, your hands smell like chili all day long. And I have two babies, so I can't smell like chili. So all you're gonna do, is once you take them out, go ahead and just peel all the skin off. If it's easier to peel it with your hands, go ahead and peel it with your hands. Just make sure to peel it all around. like that but just make sure to go all around the chili it's on both sides okay so this is how your chili should look after it has been the little skin has been removed from the top and then you're just going to go ahead and split it in the middle so you can go ahead and take off all those little seeds like that just make sure to try to take out all the seeds that you could possibly take out. I know they're a little hard because they hide. But just go ahead and take them all out. Alright, so once all the seeds are out like this, you're gonna go ahead and put a slice of queso fresco inside and then just go ahead and wrap it up like that. This is how the chile should look after they have been completely stuffed and the seeds and everything has been removed. Now we're gonna put a hot pot, let it heat up a little bit, and we're gonna add the crema mexicana table cream, all of it. This is a brand new one. So once you added all of it, we're gonna go ahead and put the half cup 
of milk in there. And then mix it all together. Like that. Once I have the mixture of milk and crema, we're gonna go ahead and grab the chiles and then place them in there. So you're gonna go ahead and grab every single one of them and put it in the sauce. Like that. Add some of the corn in our mixture. How much corn is how much you, uh, you want to go ahead and add in there. It doesn't have to be too much. I like a lot of corn. Go ahead and just put it inside the crema. So you could go ahead and boil with all the ingredients. like that and then just go ahead and add crema all around the chiles exactly like that go ahead and cut more queso fresco into little slices and then just put it all around and let it boil with your crema Garlic salt al gusto. And mix it in. And now let it boil completely. Uh, it's still boiling you're just gonna go ahead and slice thinly slice a tomato And go ahead and add it in there and mix it in while it's boiling just to give it that coloring and it just gives it a little bit more flavor as well. Once you put your white rice in a plate, you're gonna go ahead and grab one of the chiles and put it on your plate. Just go ahead and pour some of that crema all over it. Make sure to grab some of the corn as well. And there you have it. Your plate is completely finished. And this is how it should look.